Hi everyone, in this video what we're going to do is figure out what the limit is as x approaches pi of 1 plus cosine cubed of x divided by sine squared of x. If we were to just go ahead and let x equal pi, we would be dividing by 0 because sine squared of pi is equal to 0. So we need to try and rewrite this limit into a form that allows us to let x equal pi. What we can do is try to rewrite the denominator in a form that lets us avoid this scenario here. To do so we're going to use the following identity cosine squared of x plus sine squared of x is equal to 1. We can solve for sine squared of x and we're left with 1 minus cosine squared of x. We can actually go ahead and factor this further. We have 1 minus cosine of x multiplied by 1 plus cosine of x. So let's go ahead and substitute this value into our limit here for sine squared of x. So we're going to have the limit as x approaches pi of 1 plus cosine cubed of x divided by 1 minus cosine of x multiplied by 1 plus cosine of x. Now we still have a problem because 1 plus cosine of pi is equal to 0 so we're still dividing by 0 so we want to try to rewrite the numerator so that we can get a factor of 1 plus cosine of x so that we can cancel that with the 1 in the denominator and that will allow us to let x equal pi notice that 1 cubed plus cosine cubed of x is equal to 1 plus cosine cubed of x because 1 raised to any power is just equal to itself. That means that we can factor the numerator using the sum of cubes formula. Let me just write the sum of cubes formula right here. a cubed plus b cubed is equal to a plus b multiplied by a squared minus a times b plus b squared. Now let a be equal to 1 and b be equal to cosine of x. Now using our formula right here, we have 1 plus cosine cubed of x is equal to 1 plus cosine of x multiplied by 1 minus cosine of x plus cosine squared of x. Now notice we have a factor of 1 plus cosine of x. That will allow us to cancel with the 1 plus cosine of x here. So let's go ahead and rewrite the limit using what we have here. We have the limit as x approaches pi of 1 plus cosine of x multiplied by 1 minus cosine of x plus cosine squared of x divided by 1 minus cosine of x multiplied by 1 plus cosine of x. Now we can cancel these two and we're just left with the limit as x approaches pi of 1 minus cosine of x plus cosine squared of x divided by 1 minus cosine of x. At this point we can just go ahead and let x equal pi, so we're left with 1 minus cosine of pi plus cosine squared of pi divided by 1 minus cosine of pi. If we just go ahead and draw the graph of cosine of x, it looks something like this. So this is just from 0 to 2 pi. Right here is where pi is. So it's very clear from this graph that cosine of pi is equal to minus 1. So we have 1 minus minus 1 plus minus 1 squared divided by 1 minus minus 1. 1 minus minus 1 is just 2 and minus 1 squared is just 1. 1 minus minus 1 is just 2. So the final answer to this problem is 3 over 2. Thank you very much for watching the video. If you found this content useful, please make sure to like and subscribe. I hope you have a great day. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below.